one of the most popular comments I get since I posted the billionaire's money guide and advised people to stay away from the MC biker businesses is how lots of people claim that they are still worth doing. So in this video, I'll be taking an in-depth look at whether they really are. It will detail the profit you can make from each business, how long selling missions take, as well as all the other pros and cons. This will be the extensive video about MC biker businesses with lots of numbers to back it up with. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's start with what is by far the worst business out of the five to have, the document forgery business. First off, the supply missions for these biker businesses are awful. Doing these solo could take as much as 20 minutes to complete just to get the full five bars of supplies, in which time you could have been making much more money elsewhere. So for now, we'll concentrate on buying the supplies and working from there. To supply the document forgery business until it has full stock will cost you $135,000. The most you can sell this for is $126,000, giving you a profit of minus $9,000. Buying the cheapest location that is fully upgraded will cost you $1,680,000. If you're sourcing supplies instead of buying them, it would mean doing 14 selling missions on top of that before you've even broken even. If you bought the most expensive location and had it fully upgraded, it would cost you $2,265,000. It would then take you an astonishing 18 selling missions just to break even. The document forgery business, whichever way you look at it, is a dreadful business investment. Do not buy. And we have a sale. Digital assets transferred to your account. And that's it from LJT. Now on to the weed business. To pay to fully stock the weed business, it would cost you $150,000. You can then sell the weed for $252,000, netting you a total of $102,000 profit. Sounds okay until you remember that for all of these to be sold fully stocked, you will need at least three players to get it done properly. You also have to constantly be on the lookout for griefers, as the vehicles used are easily destroyed. Basically, for every $75,000 you spend, you're only likely to make $51,000 profit. The cheapest weed business fully upgraded will cost you $2,291,500. That will mean selling a total of 23 times before you broke even if you paid for the supplies. 23 times. If you bought the most expensive location, which is $2,935,000, it would take you 29 selling missions before you broke even. 29. Weed business. Do not buy. Okay, invoice paid, and we have a sale. Currencies in your wallet and long john tea. Next up is the counterfeit cash. Like the weed business, it will cost you $150,000 to get it fully stocked, which you can sell for $294,000, netting you a total profit of $144,000. For each $75,000 that you spend, you will get $72,000 profit. Sounds pretty good, right? But the cheapest counterfeit cash location that's fully upgraded will cost you $2,454,000. That means you would have to sell your full business of stock a total of 17 times. If you got the most expensive location and fully upgraded it, which would be $3,214,500, it would mean selling a total of 23 times before you saw a profit. 23 selling missions before you start getting your money back. Do not buy. Sale. Digital assets transferred to your account, and that's it from LJT. Meth Lab is next. To fully stock the Meth Lab, it will cost you $195,000. You can sell a fully stocked Meth Lab for $357,000, earning you a profit of $162,000. But as before, don't be fooled by these numbers. Remember that to sell a fully stocked Meth Lab, you still need a bunch of friends and a decent lobby to sell in. The cheapest fully upgraded meth lab will set you back $2,854,500. That means you would need to sell a fully stocked meth lab 18 times before you even got your investment back. If you choose the most expensive location and had it fully upgraded, that would cost you $3,673,500. That means selling at least 23 times before you started making a real profit from your investment. I'm going to repeat myself here. Do not buy. Okay. Invoice paid, and we have a sale. Currency's in your wallet, and Long John T is logging out. And last but not least, the Coke factory. To purchase supplies to fully stock your Coke business will cost you $210,000, which you can sell for $420,000, 
making you a profit of 210,000 for each fully stocked warehouse. However, the cheapest fully upgraded Coke business will cost you $2,870,000, meaning it will take you 14 selling missions of full stock before you turn a profit from your investment. If you go for the most expensive location, that will set you back $3,747,000. To get your money back on that one, it would take 18 fully stocked selling missions. Cryptocurrency received, so I guess we have a sale. Transferring now, long john over. In total, for getting the money pit that is the document forgery business, if you bought the cheapest locations for the other four MC biker businesses, you would need to do a total of 72 selling missions before you started making a true profit. If you decided to splurge your cash and went and bought the four most expensive locations, you would need to do a total of 93 selling missions before you earned your money back. Yes, 93. Now let's look at the selling missions and explain this a bit further. All of these missions were done with at least four players and all competent. Selling all five businesses one after the other took us a total of 45 minutes, including traveling time to each warehouse. That's basically an entire day in GTA. If we forget the document forgery business, you're looking at an average of nine minutes per selling mission, which is 36 minutes to sell all four. If we consider that it would take 72 selling missions to break even if you bought the four cheapest businesses for each product, it would take you a total of 648 minutes before you broke even. Yes, 648 minutes of horrid selling missions where you need at least three players to help do it before you started earning your money back. That is equivalent to almost 11 hours of selling missions. If you bought the four most expensive locations and had to sell 93 times, it would take you a grand total of 837 minutes before you started getting your money back. That's basically 14 hours of grinding. 14 hours. Now, before you comment that buying supplies is why you'd be losing a ton of money, remember that time is money. All the time you're spending 30 minutes or so resupplying your stock, you're not doing other jobs which are way more profitable. Completely forgetting how you can do the K Preco heist in 30 minutes, check the pop-out banner in the top right for that guide, you can do an auto shop contract mission in under 13 minutes and bag 166,000, with zero risk of losing it all from briefers. So in the time it takes you to fill up your coke warehouse to max capacity, you could have earned $330,000 completely solo in that time from doing the contract missions. To further put this into perspective, the cheapest bunker fully upgraded will cost you $3,270,000 or so. The profit you make from this means you'd only have to sell the full bunker five times before you make your money back. That is a quarter of some of the MC businesses and it's much more solo friendly, earning $135,000 profit from every sale if you buy the supplies. So when I tell people that doing the MC businesses is a total waste of time and effort, it's because I have the data to back it up with, and now you do too. The only reason you need to buy the MC businesses at all, and only the coke, cash and meth, is to help fill up your nightclub stock. Do not waste your time and money on doing the biker businesses, despite what other people who have no idea what they're talking about may tell you. The MC businesses are some of the best businesses in GTA Online. Hey yo, you want to get that in the Grand Sonora Desert location? If you require an actual guide on the best and easiest ways to make money, then check out my Billionaire's Money Guide. I will leave a link in the description. So, have you had your mind changed? Still stubborn that they're a good investment? Then let me know in the comments. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.